Pakistan's former president, Pervez Musharraf, has died at the age of 79. President Musharraf served in office for seven years, from 2001. He was also Pakistan's military leader from 1998 until the end of his presidency. In 2019, he was sentenced to death in absentia for treason charges in relation to the murder of one of his successors, Benazir Bhutto. He'd been living in Dubai for several years and died there after a long illness. The BBC's Gordon Carrera looks back on his life. 1999 and when troops stormed the national television headquarters to put Pervez Musharraf in power, the people of Pakistan heard a familiar refrain. The nation needed another leader in uniform to save it from self-serving politicians. In the past, our governments have ruled the people. It is time now for the governments to serve the people. Pakistan had already been under army rule for more than half the time it had been independent. General Musharraf portrayed himself as a modernizer, out to rid Pakistan of Islamic extremism. The attacks in the US in September 2001 severely tested his resolve. Controversially within Pakistan, he decided to support the American-led military campaign to oust the Taliban regime in neighboring Afghanistan. The best way to fight this common enemy is to join hands. He faced protests that he'd sold out to the Americans. Later, he only narrowly escaped an attempt on his life. Challenges to his authority were put down with military force. He later handed over control of the army. But the killing of the former Prime Minister, Benazir Bhutto, in 2007, soon after her return from exile, undermined President Musharraf's claim that the nation was safe in his hands. Then his party was trounced at the polls and the coalition that came in decided to impeach him for his alleged misrule as president. Pervez Musharraf, though, moved first and resigned. He went into self-imposed exile, but returned to Pakistan six years later, intending to stand in the forthcoming general election. But he was placed under arrest, a move Musharraf described as politically motivated. Allowed to seek medical treatment abroad, he was convicted in his absence of treason and accused of involvement in Bhutto's assassination. Pervez Musharraf once said Pakistan would help to shape the future for both Islam and the West and the relations between them. On that, there would probably be little disagreement but there undoubtedly will be over Pervez Musharraf's own contribution. And that was a report by Gordon Carrera following the death of uh, the former uh, leader of Pakistan, uh, Pervez uh, Musharraf. And uh, just to bring you what we know um, about his death, it came to us via a statement from the Pakistani military who have said that they express heartfelt condolences on the sad demise of General Pervez Musharraf, former president, uh, CJCS. SC and Chief of Army Staff. May Allah bless the departed soul and give strength to bereaved family. Um, Mr. Musharraf was 79 years old, um, a four-star general, of course, hence uh, that statement coming from the Pakistani military. OK, let us speak now uh, to our correspondent, uh, Ambarasan. Um, Ambarasan, we, we understand that this death took place in Dubai. I wonder, first off, if you could just give us a, a bit of a background as to the, the significance of his rule. The president, uh, uh, former President Musharraf, he led Pakistan at a very crucial time. In fact, uh, when he came to power, that was uh, very dramatic when he was the army chief. He was returning from Sri Lanka on a visit and uh, he was sacked while he was literally on air. He took control of the cockpit and started giving directions. At that time, the Prime Minister of Pakistan was Nawaz Sharif. Uh, even before landing, even though the army officials were changed under the orders of uh, the Prime Minister at that time, he was able to contact with the various uh, commands. And then he seized power in 1999. And then he was the president till you know, 2007-8. And what the important 
period of uh, President Bosharaf at that time was uh, the war on terror launched by the US and the Western allies. Following the September uh, 2001 attacks on the US, and then the US and the Western countries decided to take action against the Al-Qaeda uh, militant group, the, uh, the group uh, many people thought it was based and operated from Afghanistan. They were under the uh, rule of uh, Taliban as guests. They were staying there. And after the Taliban refused to hand him over, then the United States started uh, this military operation. At that time, uh, Mr. Musharraf was given an option whether to you know, work with the military or you know, whatever the consequences. So he worked with the U.S. And uh, that was a period that started uh, this uh, long conflict uh, in Afghanistan. And then the Pakistan was used as a you know, main strategic a partner to go ahead with this operation. And then this war continued until, you know, in 2021, uh, when U.S. forces finally left Afghanistan. So, but many people within Pakistan at that time criticized for once again aligning uh, with the U.S. He had to strike a balance at that time. So he became a partner with the Western countries, you know, globally. At that time, he was known uh, for uh, his working with the U.S., uh, even though there was a lot of pressure uh, within the country. But within the country, he was also, you know, uh, you know, being credited with for economic development at the state, political stability. Uh, people were fed up with the continuous, you know, corruption charges against various governments. You know, Pakistan has a history of military rule. And at one point, he was a very popular leader. And uh, even though the tensions uh, with the neighboring India, the arch rival, uh, Pakistan's arch rival, uh, you know, it went up again in 99 and in 2001, uh, following an attack on Indian parliament. Many people will credit him that he also took steps to solve uh, the Kashmir issue. Both countries, they claim the entire Kashmir region in full, uh, but the, the talks did not succeed. But then he gradually started losing popularity, and then he was forced to resign uh, from office after his party lost the elections uh, in uh, 2008. So, Musharraf is like very mixed rule uh, for Pakistan because he held the post for a long time, uh, but he played a very, very, uh, he was at, at power at a very significant period.